Number 22, letter A. What is the work output of a cyclical heat engine having a 22% efficiency and 6 times 10 to the 9th joules of heat transfer into the engine? All right. So uh, basically what we need to do first, they're talking about efficiency, all right, and we have to somehow connect efficiency to work. So we have this formula over here. It tells us that the efficiency of an engine will be equal to the work, cyclical engine that is, will be equal to the work output divided by the uh, heat of the hot reservoir, which is essentially, this is the amount of heat inputted or input into the engine, all right? So it says uh, here, they tell us the amount of heat at 6 times 10 to the 9th. They tell us the efficiency, so we can easily solve for then the work output, right? This is just equal to the efficiency value multiplied by Q sub H. And here, remember, when you plug in, make sure you plug in the decimal form 0.22 for the efficiency, multiplied by 6.00 times 10 to the 9th times 10 to the 9th, and let's see what we get. So we're going to get a work output of uh, 0.22, multi oops, that's 0 0.25, 0 0.22 times 6 times 10 to the 9th, so 22% of that value, so that's about 1.32 times 10 to the 9th, and that's in terms of joules. That would be the work output, all right, of this engine. So that takes care of letter A. Let's see letter B. How much heat transfer occurs to the environment? So for that particular formula, whenever you're dealing with a cyclical heat engine, you're going to be using this formula at the top. It equals the work output of the engine will equal then the heat of the hot reservoir minus the heat put out to the cold reservoir. This is basically the heat put into the engine, and then this is the heat released from the engine into the environment. Okay, just plug in the absolute values. We're being asked to solve for this, right, Q sub C basically. So Q sub C will equal to then Q sub H minus then the work, all right? Just rearranging it, so Q sub H was 6.00 times 10 to the 9th. The work we just found was 1.32, all right, times 10 to the 9th, and voila, we can now calculate. So this is 6 times 10 to the 9th minus then 1.32 times 10 to the 9th. So it's just the difference between the two, so that's going to be 4.68 times 10 to the 9th joules. And there you go. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next question. Take care.